one that runs like Mark has at work for 54 hours mm -hmm. intermittently, I thought mm -hmm. that would be obvious. Yep. So, low maintenance, supposed to refill it. That's yeah. right. I right. love it. Mark has the Julia. Julia. Yeah, we're talking long running diffusers. That one's nice. The Julia runs for 54 hours, which is pretty nice. All right, looks like we're up and running on Facebook and over on Instagram and here in person in my living room. <laughs> we're all excited. <laughs> we got a lively crowd. I love it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> So fun. Well, I have to say, so for, for those that are new to me, I'm Dr. Laura Ritchie. I am a licensed doctor of physical therapy. I'm a national board certified health and wellness coach specializing in functional nutrition and women's health. And I'm an essential oil educator. But basically, my passion is to help women who are stressed out, burned out. They don't feel good. They have low energy. Maybe they saw their doctor and they don't know what's going on or they tell them everything is normal and we work on foundations to help people feel better. And Linda here in my living room, one of my sweet oilers, she had asked if we were going to do a class at home this month and said she really likes them. And I said, what do you want to learn? She said digestion. So I said, yes, let's do it. <laughs> this is a hot topic, especially during the holiday season when we may be eating different foods or more sweets or different things. So I'm going to give you a couple simple tips and things that we can do to start with for digestion to help us. And then we'll also talk about some nutrition tips, some supplements, even coffee enemas, because that's a big one too. And then we'll talk about essential oils, but also some other things, non doTERRA things too, that are going to help with your digestion. But this is the first one. And I think this is a hard one is as easy as this sounds, as simple as this sounds, try not to eat when you're distracted or stressed. <laughs> That's tip number one. That's easier said than done because it's Christmas and it's the holiday season and we're all trying to do everything and be everywhere. But if you can, and most of us are eating on the run, right? We're grabbing something quick to go. We're eating in our car. We're not even sitting down for those things. So maybe this is a goal that you just start with one meal a day where you turn off all distractions, you don't have your phone out, and you're really, really present and you slow down to eat and just start there, start small. And maybe we build from that. But just slowing down and believe it or not, actually smelling your food can make a huge difference in your digestion. So we have the cephalic phase of digestion, which happens when we just inhale our food. So if we can smell it, and sit down and this is where whether you do some type of gratitude or prayer before meals or whatever feels good to you you're smelling your food you're eating when you're not distracted that can make a huge huge difference and start there starting to think about more pleasure when we eat and working on dining instead of eating so this may mean where we set the table and we make it more fancy. And I don't know if any of you watch Downton Abbey. Yes. Okay. Y'all are my people. <laughs> we love Downton Abbey. So dinner is a big thing for them. They ring the gong. They get all dressed up. They sit down. It's a whole bit to do. Granny's talking, saying a little too much. Like everything's happening. And that's something that we've gotten away from as a society. We don't sit around the table anymore. We're not talking. We're not checking. We're just kind of eat, 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 and we're on to the next thing. So the more that we can slow down and make it fancy and be present with our food and smell our food and not eat when we're distracted, this is all really, really important. Now, interestingly enough, research actually shows us that well, – guess. Does anybody have any guesses? So how many times you're supposed to chew your food? before you swallow 32 40. 32 40 30 you guys are really good 43 pretty good heavy okay 43 times and most of us are not doing that not near that most of us are like chew 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 and swallow so maybe 10, maybe 10 mark says <laughs> So it's really, really chewing your food well. When we think about it, we don't have teeth in our stomach. 
And we really want to be liquefying our food. As silly as it sounds, just slowing down, being present, smelling our food, and chewing your food is going to have a huge, huge benefit to your digestion. We haven't even talked about supplements or other things to add to that. This is just a lifestyle habit working on. And start slow. Slowly work up to this. But just notice when you're chewing your food. And this is also when you can get enjoyment because you're tasting your food. And we have taste buds on top of our tongue, but also under our tongue. So if you can in, like have a habit of maybe you take a bite and then you put your fork down after each bite and that'll slow you down a little bit or try eating with your non-dominant hand. That'll slow you down a little bit or try have a fun game with your family of who can eat the slowest. <laughs> instead of the fastest. I'm like my father and we tend to inhale our food. So this is a little bit harder for me. So I think of things that you can do as a family. Maybe you make it a game, but you want to slow it down and go slower when we're eating our food. So thinking that goal of 43 chews per bite, or just really thinking about liquefying your food, really breaking it down, chewing it, we're smelling it, we're tasting it, we're being mindful when we're eating things and taking our time. This is also where if you can take maybe 10 deep breaths before you eat a meal or that gratitude or that prayer, anything that helps to get us out of that stressed out state, that fight or flight state into more of the parasympathetic, the rest and digest state. So gratitude, deep breathing. And again, this is why we don't want to eat ideally when we're stressed out, when we've had a big argument with somebody, when we're distracted, we want to be fully present when we're eating our meal. This is really important. Now, for somebody that struggles, maybe you've got the burning going on or irritation, you can try drinking. One of my favorite things is a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And you want the one that has the mother in it, the one that's kind of floating all around here. That's really important because this is gonna have all of those good enzymes that are going to help us to break down some of this. So getting a good, and Bragg's is my favorite, good Bragg's apple cider vinegar, and you can put, start with a teaspoon in a glass of water and drink that before meals. Now drink it with a straw because I have read that it can affect the tooth enamel a little bit. So get a stainless steel straw or straw and drink that and or, if you don't like the taste of vinegar, they do make different drinks. They make like a ginger drink. They have other drinks similar to this that you can find at natural grocers or your health food store. Or you could also do lemon water before your meals. You could squeeze fresh lemon or you could do, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> or you could do lemon essential oil and do a drop or two in warm water. This is a great thing to do in the morning you could do your apple cider vinegar drink, or you could do a little bit of lemon water and with warm water, and that's going to help to prime your digestion to get you going. So maybe before you grab the coffee or the tea or something else, just do your warm lemon water. It's very alkalizing. It's very high in limonene, which is a chemical constituent that helps to support the liver, to produce glutathione. It's very high in antioxidants, so it's going to naturally help to detoxify kidney and livers, but you're going to notice that's going to wake up your digestion. Any of the citrus oils. I would do maybe one to two. Mm -hmm. And really it's just to taste with that. So that's a great tip. And you could do that before meals. You actually don't want to be drinking a lot of water during your meal because that's going to break down some of that salivary amylase and things that are helping to break down and digest the food if we water it down too much. So you can drink a lot before meals. You can drink a lot after meals, but I wouldn't just down a ton of water while your body's trying to digest and process food. So that's a good tip too. If you're doing something like a green smoothie, that's something that I go to a lot for breakfast because it's quick and it's simple. You actually want to chew your smoothies, <laughs> believe it or not. So you're going to kind of take a drink and you're going to chew it in your mouth a little bit because just that chewing motion actually starts that salivary amylase and it helps to break down the food. So chew your smoothies and you want to liquefy your food with that. So just always think, okay, how can I be being present with this and supporting my body to help to digest that is really important. And you may try, you might be somebody where eating more soups and smoothies is going to help to take the load off of the digestive system 
a little bit. So notice, do you do better with raw foods? Do you do better with cooked foods? Ideally, I try to eat more seasonally. So it's winter time now, it's cold. So we tend to do more soups and stews and warm things or eating locally and things that are in season. So things in season right now are like squash and potatoes and uh, lots of our vegetables, especially more like butternut squash, spaghetti squash, sweet potatoes, things like that, that we can incorporate in and eat in the seasons. So usually springtime, summertime is going to be more raw, more fruits. Wintertime is going to be more maybe apples, green apples, pears, those types of things too. I think about what would somebody 100 years ago, 200 years ago have available to them in the winter time. Because now we live in an age where we can get anything, right? We can go into the store and buy watermelon, but that's not really in season for us right now. So I try to kind of stay with the seasons when possible with that. And just notice, notice if you feel better eating warm cooked meals versus cold meals. Notice if you're digesting those differently. Notice if you do better with meals that are blended because sometimes I'll make a soup and I'll keep it chunky, more like a stew, or sometimes we'll blend it up. You may notice that you are, have better digestive issues when it's blended that way. Noticing nutrition. Now, I will say essential oils are not a magic bullet. They're a tool that we can use. So I'm going to give you a lot of options. But if you're somebody and after you eat, you have upset tummy every time, yeah, I could give you an oil and it's going to help with that pretty quickly, but why? <laughs> why is that happening every time you eat? So that's what I like to dive a little bit deeper in with people and kind of see, okay, what's, what's going on there with that? And how can I address this holistically? And we talked about some lifestyle things, but I also think we can't have a class about digestion without talking about nutrition because this is really important too. So top Food sensitivities, not allergies, but just sensitivities for a lot of people are gluten, dairy, sugar, which those are all happening right now at Christmas time, <laughs> soy, corn, peanuts, and eggs. And I'm not saying everybody is sensitive to this. I'm saying that's the top 10 for a lot of people that have inflammation. So if you're somebody that struggles with digestive issues, or maybe you have a lot of joint discomfort, or maybe you're struggling with an autoimmune issue, or you're having pain in your body or something, these are things to look into. And you can do an elimination diet. You don't have to do them all at once. You can start with one. So maybe you start with sugar. Or maybe you start with dairy and you take it out for 30 days with an elimination diet it has to be removed completely it's like being pregnant you either are pregnant or you're not pregnant we can't be a little bit pregnant <laughs> so it's very similar we can have a little bit of dairy because believe it or not the inflammatory response from these foods can linger for up to three weeks so this is where private health coaching clients that will come and they'll say, well, I don't really have an issue with dairy. I only have yogurt once a week. Well, that inflammatory response could be lingering. I've seen some research that shows gluten can linger for up to six months. And again, it just depends on how resilient your gut is. The gut lining is thin. It's one cell layer thick and it will turn over about every seven to 10 days, but it just depends on how resilient you are. Now I know the gut is the gateway to our health. It's also the gateway to our immune system. So for having issues with our gut, that is telling me that there might be issues going on elsewhere with the skin. Maybe we're dealing with head tension. Maybe we're dealing with painful periods or there's something else going on there too. So the cool thing about the body is it likes to heal all together. <laughs> it's like when we're working on our skin, the gut usually, as we address the gut, that stuff clears up all together, which is neat, which is pretty cool. So we want to look at everything holistically to help with that and see how we're feeling. So you may consider doing an elimination diet and seeing how you feel with that. Hi, come in. Welcome. Grab a seat. And this can be really helpful too. So notice what you're eating. I will say for most people, it's going to be gluten, dairy, or sugar that might be causing um, inflammatory response specifically especially with the skin so if you're seeing redness irritation that is usually going to be a gluten or dairy 
uh, issue. So just kind of look at that. And I know it's Christmas time, but I tell you what, if you start to look at nutrition now, the rest of the year is going to be so much easier. <laughs> You're going to be good to go. And there's, there's lots of ideas too with this. It, it can still taste really yummy. So look at your nutrition. Look at your supplements. If you're not taking a high quality multivitamin, multimineral supplement, we need to do that. That's really important for a lot of functions of the body, including proper digestion. So there's this thing called the gut brain barrier here. And a lot of what we eat, we actually produce more serotonin in our gut than we do in our brain. It's all related. So looking at that and supplements are really important. I, Mark and I both take the lifelong vitality pack supplements from doTERRA. They have a regular one and a vegan one. So this has three supplements in it. One is the alpha CRS plus one is the X C Omega and one is the, the, the microplex BMZ. So I'll show you these really quick. The alpha CRS plus, this is basically a fire hose for inflammation. This one supplement is $69.50. It's almost as much as all of them together. And there's a reason because it is very, very important for detoxification. I want you to think that. I want you to think healthy inflammatory response to the body, detoxification with Alpha CRS Plus. So if some of you follow medical medium, like um, Anthony Williams in his book, a lot of the supplements that he talks about are in this or in Alpha CRS Plus. So it is a powerhouse for a lot of things. The Microplex VMZ, this is your vitamins and minerals. This is very, very important, especially with immune system function, um, but also gut function. So think your vitamins, your minerals, a lot of supplement companies will cut corners and you'll see folic acid listed, which is the synthetic form of folate. But folic acid is actually highly inflammatory. So I would just have you Google that. Google folic acid versus folate, and you would be surprised. So we, we want folate. The body knows the difference between the synthetic and something that is real. It's like, we can't trick the body. Uh, the other thing where you'll see people cut corners is on the B vitamins. You'll see them use, instead of a methylated B, they'll use cyanocobalamin, that's a derivative of cyanide. They'll, they'll cut corners because it's cheaper. So if you're getting your supplements from someplace like Costco or CMs or something like that, you really do get what you pay for with those things. Very similar to essential oils, very similar to organic versus non-organic food. So supplements are important. And then fish oil. So we have the XC Omega, or we also have the vegan version, which is a plant-based Omega. So omegas are really important for joint health, brain health. If you're having really dry skin all the time, look at, are you getting enough healthy fats? Are you getting enough fish oils? And then I would say yarrow palm, all the yarrow palm for your hands. But fish oils are so important. What's interesting is when people are taking enough fish oil, and that's one of the first things that people will notice with taking this, the lifelong vitality pack is their mood their mood changes very quickly. They start to have a little bit more energy and they start to notice that they sleep better, but it may take about three weeks. So take them with diligence and take them for about three weeks and you'll start to see a difference, but they do have a 30 day money back guarantee, but you'll notice like just this one supplement, 69.50, all three is 79.50 together, bundled together. All in a box through doTERRA, yep. And when you do that with a loyalty order, you will actually, what's kind of cool, this is just a perk with loyalty orders, is it's all bundled together and you can add extra supplements, actually several that we're gonna talk about like Terrazyme or say PB Assist or the Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex, which is amazing for uh, in, like infl a healthy inflammatory response in the body. So we have that one over, do you wanna grab that one, Mark? Um, the Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex. So these are regularly about 40 each and you can add them for 20. So you basically get them at half off. The deep blue polyphenol complex is almost 60. Thank you, babe. And you can get it for 20 when you do that. So you can pick three. So it's kind of a perk. Take them all every day. So with these, with the three, <laughs> thanks Mark. <laughs> I need extra hands, huh? Um, he's a good helper, isn't he? He's a keeper. He's a keeper. <laughs> so a full dose is four of each. So four, four, and four, that's 12. And everybody looks at me and goes, oh my gosh, that's a lot of pills. Lord. But I tell people, 
Okay, we're going to be taking a handful of pills either way. <laughs> they may not be vitamins, they may be other pills that we take later in life. So I'd rather take these, but I split it, I do a half dose. So two, two, and two, and I take them in the morning with breakfast, and then I take them again at lunch. Now some people will take a half dose with dinner. Some people are sensitive to B vitamins. They'll keep them up. If, if I know of somebody who just started this and they say, Laura, I'm too wired to sleep since I started the supplements, I'll be like, what time are you taking them? And then they'll tell me two o'clock or with dinner. I'll say, try to take them before noon if you're that type of person because we all metabolize B vitamins. It's that bioindividuality of how we feel. So if it's keeping you up, make sure that you take it before noon. Now, granted, my brother-in-law, he said he takes his with dinner and he loves it. He feels great and he sleeps great, and that's the time of day that it works for him. But I gotta take mine early, or it's gonna keep you, yeah, does it keep you up? So you I, take all four, all 12, all that's I, what I do, I do that at lunch actually. I think all, all 12 at once. Mark takes a full dose at lunch. Okay. I split it. I, sometimes I'll take a full dose if I know if, I, if I'm gonna be out and about, and, but usually I keep extras like in little packets in my purse, just in case I forget. But I tell you, I feel different. And this is the thing. Sometimes people will be like, Laura, I'm not noticing a difference with this. I'm like, that's okay. Just stop taking them. Just, just stop taking them completely. And they'll call me three days later and go, whoa, that was doing something. Similar with diffusing oil. Somebody told me that. They were like, you know, I was diffusing oils every day, and I didn't know if it was doing anything. And I went several days, and I stopped, and I noticed a difference in how I felt. The proof's in the pudding. So when you stop something, sometimes that's the best way to tell if it's actually working for us with that which is really good and so little life hack that you can do oh thank you he's so good um i'll put them in my hand so two two and two and i'll pop them in my mouth um well actually i'll put a little water in my mouth first and i'll pop them in my mouth if you bend forward and bend your your chin down and swallow makes it very easy to take them all together i can take all 12 that way i've done a video of that i would do it but it would keep me up right now but <laughs> That's how, that's how you can just do it is like put a little bit of water, pop them in your mouth, bend forward and swallow and it'll all go down because it'll float. The, the capsules will float to the top and it'll go right down. And that explains to you that there's, I have no problems with any burping or oil or anything like that. Oh, that's a good point, Pebby. So Pebby was saying that she doesn't have any problems with burping, burping. So what I think is really brilliant about these supplements is the essential oils are infused in them. So there's a tummy tamer blend. It's got things like peppermint and ginger. So a lot of people where they're like, oh, I take supplements and I feel sick. Or now I feel nauseated. Yeah, or you get the aftertaste or then you're verping the whole time. That typically doesn't happen with these because of the tummy tamer blend. And if you take them with food, I would say take it with food. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just take these on an empty stomach. If you do notice, this is something that I learned on the campus tour. I need to do a whole class just like Thank campus you. tour of doTERRA. Okay, I, we got to do medical symposium recap. We got to do, yeah, because I got to tell you about the medical symposium because my brain. And we got to do a virtual doTERRA campus because that was really cool. But one of the things that they told us is if you do get the verping, I didn't. I got it all the time with regular fish oil, but I don't with this. But every once in a while, someone will say, you know, Laura, the fish oil is giving me a little bit of that. They said, keep it in the refrigerator and it'll cut down on that. And they also said store your citrus oils in the refrigerator and it'll extend the shelf life even more. It'll keep it from oxidizing. So, and you can do that even with your precious oils like frankincense, myrrh, it'll extend it even past the expiration date when you do that. So now I need to keep my citrus oils in my fridge that I made a mental note of, okay, I'm going to have to rearrange some things, <laughs> but start to store your oils in the fridge. Now, Dr. Scott Johnson, he has written several amazing books on essential oils over, I think 17 on Amazon. You can find him. A lot of aromatherapy schools actually use his books for certification for that. And I was just reading one of his books and he was talking about, it was so funny because I was reading on the plane and he was talking about storing essential oils in the refrigerator, especially the citrus oils. And I thought, oh, what a cool idea. And then they kind of mentioned that on the tour, that if you were getting the verping to store your, your X E omegas in the fridge. So cool, cool little life hacks, right? <laughs> With all of this here. Um, and this is what I love is we're always learning. I'm constantly learning new things and new ways to, to use the oils with that. Okay, 
So we talked about supplements. Well, we talked about lifelong vitality pack. So now let's talk about digestive enzymes because these will change your life. So this is Terrazyme. This is our digestive enzyme. And we'll talk about some of the differences because I think it can be a little bit confusing. Dr. Scott Johnson. Someone was asking what his name. Dr. Scott Johnson is the, he's amazing. I got to meet him in Kenya and he was at the essential oil medical symposium. Follow him on Instagram. Check out his books. They're, they're really, really good. And nice guy. Met him and his wife. Okay, so Terrazyme is our digestive enzyme. And what this does is it supports the body's constant production of enzymes. Because enzymes are critical for healthy biochemical functions in the body. We need it. And this is important for healthy digestion of your food, of nutrients, but also even, even cellular metabolism of nutrients to energy with this. So people say you are what you eat. You actually are what you absorb. Because if you're not absorbing anything, it's not beneficial with that. So you can take two of these with meals. You can do more if you needed to. But this is, I would say, one to three maybe with meals. So if you're doing a steak, <laughs> do three. If you're doing a salad, maybe do one if you're having more raw foods. But these are a game changer if you're somebody who has gas or bloat or upset tummy after you eat meals or things just didn't settle. This will change your life. And Boyd Truman in his Symphony of the Cells training, like the answer to everything was Terrazyme. People like skin irritations. He was like, Terrazyme. <laughs> it's like, there was a woman who had skin irritations, issues going on for almost her whole life. And it took about three months, but wow. Terrazyme. Because a lot of stuff, if it's coming out in the skin, that's a digestive issue that needs to be addressed. So what's interesting about, we make digestive enzymes, but around age 35, we stop producing as many. We stop producing it as much as when we get older. So you may notice a kid right, can go eat a Big Mac at McDonald's and they're fine. And you may try to do that and your digestive system is going to say, no, no. That was, yeah, because they are producing more enzymes than what we are. What's interesting, I was reading this research article to give people leaky gut. So leaky gut is kind of what we're talking about here when you have, say, food sensitivities or things coming in and that we talked about the gut's just one cell layer thick. So things like antibiotics or prescription medications or gluten or whatever we may have a sensitivity to, those, the, the zonulin, the, the tight junctions that hold those cells together can kind of break down. And then at a microscopic level, it's leaky. To give kids leaky gut, they fed them McDonald's. <laughs> like that's what they did for these college kids. They just, they fed them fast food. And then they worked on gut healing. <laughs> and I thought, Whoa, that's kind of crazy, but Terrazyme. All of that to say, <laughs> Terrazyme. So this is something that just start taking this with every meal and it will change your life. It was, it made a big difference. And it was so funny because Boyd talked a long time about Terrazyme. And I talked to Mark about it a little bit and Mark leaned over to me in the training. He said, I think I need to start taking Terrazyme. <laughs> And that was worth the whatever we paid to go to that <laughs> workshop and like learn all the things. So Mark has diligently been taking his Terrazyme. Mm -hmm. I carry a bottle of these in my purse, so I have it at all times. If you're having a painful situation, you can also use this. So taking it with food is going to help to break down food. Taking it away from food can also help because you're getting those, if we're thinking about that cellular metabolism if we're converting nutrients to energy, if it's helping with biochemical functions. So when we take enzymes, we're taking that load off of the body. We're actually, it's, it's able to run more efficient than if we're not, now it's going to take longer, it has to break everything down. So using your terazyme is important, but there's some interesting, if you Google enzymes and in sports injuries. Well, since uh, you bring that up, because I think that's one of the main reasons I think Mm, so Pebby says this is one of the main reasons that she takes it for, and it's and huge. It's right for what we're doing it for, but that also is a secondary thing. Yes. So for injuries? Injuries. Mm -hmm. You can take that. You can, you cannot overdose on digestive enzymes. So 
you can take it with food. You can take it without food. You could take it on an empty stomach before you go to bed. It's like a little rotor rooter, like clean you out, right? While you sleep. <laughs> yeah, Roomba. Yes, exactly. Roomba. <laughs> little digestive Roomba. Um, makes a big difference. And you can take those along with your other pills. Yep. You can take those along with everything else. Digestive enzymes are great. So I would say this is huge. This is going to be your new best friend. Since we're on that yeah. subject, with this, why do so many doctors just want people to take like Vantanic or Prilosec or whatever? <laughs> I mean, that's the opposite of what we're trying to achieve, if I understand correctly. Yeah. So the question is why, why do doctors want us to take Zantec and Prilosec and all these things? Oh, Pevy, I love your questions. <laughs> oh, we're going there. <laughs> well, you, you try to talk to people about Fearnox, yeah. and that's, they just say, oh, well, I'm taking Zantec. This is the interesting thing about all. Okay, I'll give you my opinion. Okay. And I'll try to speak compliantly because we're live streaming, but okay. it, we'll, we'll see. We'll talk after too. <laughs> so, <laughs> doctors are trained very much from a pharmaceutical perspective in that we're going to diagnose the problem and then there's more of a pill for every ill. And most physicians are not trained or have, don't have extensive training. Maybe they got one lecture about nutrition, about this functional perspective of kind of looking at things and working with that. And there's a time and place for a pharmaceutical. There is, but that is more of a band-aid treatment of, okay, we've got this, well, let's calm down the symptoms, but we're not actually addressing the underlying root cause of maybe you've got a dairy sensitivity. Maybe you've got a gluten sensitivity. Maybe you've got, you know, all of these things. Okay. So somebody's they're chiming in on Instagram. Oh, somebody says that she takes five before bed. There you go. Yeah. Five tears. I'm just a little rotor root. I love when you guys share your experiences. So somebody says, uh, big pharmaceuticals makes money. I have a shirt that says big pharma, bad karma. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's drugs or drugs. So you can do that. Now the problem is oftentimes people then have side effects. So they're taking this, uh oh, but now I've got constipation or now I've got dry mouth or now I've got, you know, whatever. And we're not really addressing underlying root causes with things. Now more doctors are becoming open to this through their own experience. My local family doctor went through his own health issues and was having severe digestive stuff and went to see his trusted doctor and they all they had was a prescription and my family doctor didn't want to go on a prescription drug and he went to Lubbock and saw a functional medicine doctor there and changed his diet he said Laura you know what if I take my supplements and I eat what I'm supposed to eat I'm fine if I veer off if I eat something that I'm not or forget or whatever, then I have issues. So everybody's different and, and they're trained. And I don't think it's the doctor's fault. I don't think we can blame them. And actually physicians have one of the highest rates of suicide. The system is failing all of us, not just us as patients, but also uh, healthcare professionals. I can tell you that as a burned out healthcare professional. And I was like, Ooh, you know, working in the clinic and reimbursement was shorting and my treatment times with my patients were getting shorter and shorter. And it was just like, Ugh. and, and now knowing what I know as a physical therapist, well, I would start to talk to people about diet. Hey, what's your diet? Are you drinking enough water? This or that. And I would get reprimanded for that. That's out of your scope of practice. You shouldn't be talking. And I'm like, but what they eat is affecting their outcomes. So it's better that I stay here in my zone and, just, and I feel like I can help more people in this zone, but that's kind of the, the gist of that a little bit is it's not that if, if, if you were trained that everything is a nail and like you only have a hammer in your toolbox, well, that's, that's what you're going to do. But I also think people are kind of getting fed up with that and they're like, well, I don't want to go on another pill or whatever it is. So they're starting to become more empowered and they're starting to take responsibility for their health and wellness. And they're starting to look at diet, lifestyle, movement, sleep, stress management, you know, pulling in things like supplements, essential oils, all of that to help them. And for me, that's what I did. And that's how I healed. And that's where the magic happens. And it doesn't have to be all or none, but 
And that's what I really love about functional medicine. My functional medicine doctor, if I really need a prescription medication, yeah, they're going to do that. If it's something that they're like, maybe a supplement, maybe a lifestyle change, we'll do that too. So I feel like it doesn't, we don't have to be all or none. And using, I was talking to one of my brand new Oilers. We were doing a welcome call and she said, Laura, if my child has 104 fever, I'm going to give them Tylenol and I'll put peppermint on them. And I was like, great. I have some mamas that they would not do Tylenol. They would do peppermint. And this is where it's informed choice, right? Like we get to decide what feels good for us and we work with our team and our doctor and all of that. And I'm not saying don't go to the doctor, but it's informed self-care <laughs> that we get to make those things. I think sometimes we run to the doctor for every little cough or whatever. And it's like, oh, there's, there's a lot that we can do too. So that's a good question, Pebby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, it feels better when you do the Terrazyme? That's awesome. Yeah. It's it, Terrazyme, man, I feel like we don't talk enough about Terrazyme. Like when I came to, to doTERRA, I didn't, I came to doTERRA for the oils. I didn't really know about the supplements. I kind of gradually started using the supplements and then started using Terrazyme. But I feel like we all need to be like wearing Terrazyme shirts and singing about it and like throwing it up like confetti because it, it, I do. I just pull it out of my purse and set it on the table wherever we go for dinner. And I'm like, group Terrazyme, like get you some, get in there. You'll feel better when you do it. So it's a, it's a good one. Okay, other things that can help with digestion. So PB Assist, this is our probiotic. This, so probiotics are the good gut bugs that we have. So this is giving us immune support. This is helping with, it's a double layer. So this is enteric coated. This becomes important. You'll notice some of our supplements are now enteric coated, like the peppermint soft gels that we're about to talk about, or the dual chamber turmeric capsules that we talk about. So if things aren't enteric coated, there's a lot of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. And if it's not enteric coated to get through that, it's going to kill off your probiotic or whatever it is that you're using. And it's not going to get into the gut, which is really important. So this is important to look at, hey, is my probiotic enteric coated with that? So that's important to have on hand too. So this is one that you can take with food. It actually recommends that you take with food, but I will tell you from my own personal experience and working with my own functional practitioners, I will usually take a probiotic on an empty stomach before bed so it's not competing with food for absorption. Some of my my clients, they can't do that. They need to take it with food. So if that's the case, then they can take it with breakfast or you can take it with dinner. You can see how you're doing with that. But a good probiotic is important. I like to rotate those. So there is the PB Assist Junior as well. And this is the kid's form, but this is really great if you have adults that can't swallow pills or they just don't. Yeah, this is a great one. It's all too light. So this is Mark because he loves this one. He just, you know, Mark isn't going to go for this. He's, and so I think you also have to, it's got to work for your life, right? If something tastes horrible, are you really going to do it? Or, you know, not that these taste, these are just capsules. You just swallow them, but you know what I mean? So this is like a pixie stick. It says you can mix it with water. We just we eat it like candy. Yeah. It is, it is really, really yummy with all of these things. So yeah. One a day for this. Yeah. And I like to rotate one month. I'll do this one month. I'll do this one because there's different strains. So this one has lacto, it's got acidophilus, lactis, like lacto, uh, it's got bifidum, which is kind of neat. It's got different strains. So this one has bifidobactum breve, Lactobacillus plantarum. So it's got different ones. Yes. And wild orange and digestin on the tummy for that. If things are getting backed up and not moving well, lots and lots of water. And we'll talk about some of the oils too. But yeah, a good probiotic would be a really good one to do. And this is, I think it's recommended four and up. 
I will tell you, we've got people in our oils family with two year olds that are taking this or even younger, you know, mixing it with water and taking it. So a good probiotic, you know, I always tell people work with your doctor, show them what you're taking. We always want to do that, but a good probiotic is important. So probiotics are more getting the good gut bugs and gut strains into the gut where we need them for those things there. Okay. Peppermint soft gels, because this is a new one that just came out and we're, we're really pumped about this. This is, well, let me backtrack. Let's talk about the difference between digestion soft gels and peppermint soft gels. Yeah, that's going to be a question. <laughs> this is, this is a good question. So digestion soft gels with digestion. I want you to think about this is, this is if you have an upset tummy, something that kind of comes on. Maybe you don't have digestive issues all the time, but oh, you know, you ate too many, whatever, peanut butter m and or something, and now you're feeling it. So digest then for that. So this is going to be more occasional. It's overall digestive health. You can take one soft gel or more, and you can take that a couple times a day as needed. And it's just the digest and essential oil. It's in the soft gel to make it more convenient. The peppermint soft gels, these are enteric coated. So these are specifically designed to pass through the stomach and get into the small intestine. So the best way that I can say this and describe this is if you've had ongoing digestive issues, whatever that is that's been happening for a long time, this is what you're going to start to take daily. So I think of digestion as like, oh, you know, I ate too much at Thanksgiving or something and I need quick relief. This is, hey, I've been struggling with something for a really long time and it's going to help overall digestive health, whole body wellness. I think of, you know, people that have just been really, they've, and you know, if you're kind of in that category, you've had a lot of digestive issues. So you can take up to two capsules. You can do this 30 to 60 minutes before meals. And this is for kids eight years and older. They could take one soft gel before meals with that. So quick relief, ongoing long stuff is going to be your peppermint. Waftles with that because that's a good one to talk about. The digest tabs. These I think of as they're chewable. So it's going to soothe, again, it's going to be occasional upset, maybe ate too much with a meal. And it's got the Digest Zen oil in it. It's the Digest Zen blend. Now, Digest Zen does have a fennel black licorice taste to it. I love that. That tastes like candy to me. A lot of people do not like that. So just know that. Yeah, Mark is not going to do that. So for Mark, he'll do the soft gel. He will swallow a soft gel. He's not going to do a chewable. I like these. But granted, I was the kid that did the what was it, Tums or things like that. So to me, it reminds me of that, but it's a choose your own adventure. So you can do that. So you can, you can take up to one tablet up to six times a day as needed with the, with the chewables. So we have options for all of that. Okay. Then GX Assist. GX Assist is our GI cleansing formula. So this is specific. It's a healthy digestive tract because it's going to create um, if we've got an unfriendly environment, so maybe we have dysbiosis, maybe we have too many bad gut bugs and not enough good gut bugs or something, this is going to go in and help to support that, right? Get rid of those things, anything that's kind of causing upset. This is just one to three soft gels with meals only for 10 days. So this is a short little cleanse. Cleanses are good maybe to do about four times a year. And Maybe we should do a, a tribe one in January, right? We could all do it together. That might be a, a fun one to do, right? New year, new GI system, but that's going to be the GX assist. So I want you to think of that more as a cleanse. Now you're not going to be running to the bathroom or anything with that, but so the cleanse and restore, when you got started with doTERRA, you got a little book or, and this is in the back of the book, or you can even Google doTERRA cleanse and restore or in our all's well tribe we have this in a file section but there's a 30-day cleanse it actually mentions a lot of the things that we already talked about it's the lifelong vitality pack supplements you take that every day you take your terrazyme with meals 
It adds in the Zendocrine Complex. Zendocrine Complex is new, just finally. Man, it's been out of stock, but that's what I like about doTERRA is if it does not pass quality control testing, it's not going to be released to us. And it wasn't perfect just yet. So this just came out like the end of November, but this is more liver, colon, kidney cleansing support, detox. Zendocrine Complex. Mm -hmm. but yeah, here, we'll pass this around for you. So you can see it. The Zendocrine soft gels, which are the Zendocrine essential oils. So that's more detox. And then the GX assist. So that's going to be cleansing because that's got essential oils and caprylic acid. So that's going to help to get rid of any potential threats that are going on in our digestive system. The PB assist that we talked about, the probiotic and DDR prime and lemon oil, like doing the citrus. Right. And Boyd Truman talks about the foundations of health, citrus oil in your water every day, all day, lifelong vitality pack and Terrazyme. Like the, so all of these, you'll see that a lot of that is similar. Someone says they're doing the cleanse right now and feeling amazing. The cleanse is really cool because it's not like a run to the bathroom all the time type of cleanse. It's, it's, it's nor like you will feel good. It's not going to, wipe you out like some of those other things. So it's very gentle. It's very gentle. And then you're encouraged to drink lots of water on the cleanse and eat a whole food diet when you're doing that. So is this something you don't need to drink every day? Or you can take that every day. The Zendocrine Complex, one in the morning, one in the evening. Mm -hmm. You can do that every day if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. The Zendocrine soft gel is the essential oils. So it's got tangerine, cilantro, it's got, actually babe, would you grab the Zendocrine soft gel bottle? Cause we'll kind of do a little side by side on that too. The complex is a whole food detox blend. So thank you. So this is things like it's got psyllium husk powder, really good for getting things moving out of the body. It's got marshmallow herb. It's, it's more, think whole foods for detox. The essential oil, the soft gel, is tangerine, rosemary, geranium, juniper berry, and cilantro. So this is just essential oils, and this one is a whole food complex. Both work on liver, kidneys, colon, both work on detox. It's just different. One's the essential oil and one is more whole foods. You can take them together. Yes. Mm -hmm. During the cleanse, you do take them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Yep. These you could take daily. Yeah. And you could do, especially for somebody that's needing more liver or kidney health support. Yeah, that would be a really good one to do daily. Yeah, and then there is the vegan lifelong vitality pack. Somebody was asking about that, but yeah, there are vegan options to do that too. Okay, so we talked about these. Let's see, let's talk about essential oils. I was gonna show you this too. The Essential Life book, so on page, let's see what page it is. 275, it talks all about digestive and intestinal health. So you can grab your book, you can flip through there. This was really cool that I didn't know that I just learned looking at this before this class. You can place a drop of Arbor Vitae in the belly button and it'll help with gas or bloat or digestive discomfort. Usually I tell people to do that with digestion, put it on your tummy, but Arbor Vitae, how's that? So that's kind of cool. Put it in your belly button. So that's a good one too. And you know, we normally think of digestion. This is the go-to. Usually if you're having tummy trouble, I'll tell people go with a blend, go with digestion because that's really, really important to, because there's so many oils in this, I feel like something's going to support you with a blend in here. And this has, it's got Peppermint, ginger, caraway, coriander, tarragon, fennel, basically all of the things that are great for digestive support. So you can put a drop under the tongue. You can take it internally. Again, only glass or stainless steel. We never want to do plastic with essential oils or do it topically over the tummy. 
all of those are going to be great options. But a lot of them are good separately too, right? Drop of peppermint in your water or doing that way. Fennel, actually fennel drop on your tongue can help with sweet tooth cravings. That's good for the holidays. Cardamom, another really yummy one. I love to do a lavender cardamom hot chocolate. I do drop it each. In my, it's really yummy with that. And ginger, we know ginger is great for upset tummy troubles. You could also do the ginger drops. These saved me in Kenya when we were bouncing around the back of a Jeep. Getting motion sick. <laughs> Went through a lot of these. Yeah, ginger. Or like your pregnant mamas, nausea, ginger. Ginger drops. Yeah, so good. And then note. Oh, the cruise ships. Oh my gosh. And then know we have roller bottles. So peppermint roller, digest then roller. You can just roll on the tummy and hit the belly button. Inside the belly button is a good place to put oils for digestive support and tamer. Hopefully everybody scored their Digest Zen Tamer Stronger BOGO because these are great. So Tamer is specific for kids. It's a kid's line, but this is something that you, so it's got Japanese peppermint in it, which is, smell yeah, isn't it good? It's more spearmint. So if you don't like the black licorice fennel of the Digest Zen, this is a much more gentler, yummier. It's, it's more, I smell more spearmint with this. We can pass these around and let you try them out. But it's designed more for kids. So it's got gentle mints. It's more diluted. Adults could use it too. You can just roll a little bit more on, but that's a great one too for as far as oils for digestive support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> digestive, upset stomach, motion sickness, car sickness, anything like that. And you just roll it on. And the oils work fast. I'll tell people set a timer for 20 minutes because within 20 minutes, you're going to be feeling different. You're going to forget that you we're having issues with that. So those are all good too. The oils are great. I will say this isn't a doTERRA thing, but digestive bitters, if you haven't tried that before, that's another thing that you can do. You can actually take them about 30 minutes before meals and you can use the digestive bitters. So you would put a teaspoon and take that about half an hour before meals. Now they are bitter. They do not taste good, but that's for a reason <laughs> so that your body starts priming. It's a liquid. You can get these at the health food store or Amazon. Digestive bitters to help to, with that salivary amylase and breaking things down and basically priming your body for digestion. Some people will eat bitters, like bitter greens, bitter, you know, but it, they are bitter. And people say, mm -mm, can I sweeten these? And I'm like, no, because the whole purpose of digestive bitters is to be bitter and make you have that salivary amylase more and to, and to break that down. So maybe not for everybody, right? That's why we have options, but it's a tool. Bitters, digestive bitters can help a lot of people too. So it's, it's something that I'm kind of throwing out there, but people may not like that. Now there is traditional medicinals is one of my favorite teas. They have like a spearmint tea or a peppermint tea. They make digestive teas. Now the essential oils are highly concentrated. So one drop of peppermint is equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that's where with the oils, you get a quick bang for your buck and they work pretty fast, but you can do something like this or smooth move tea. This is good if you're getting backed up. So smooth move. Okay. <laughs> I'll pass it around. Smooth move. So if you're, if you're getting backed up, if things are feeling stuck, so you could do both, right? You could do digest then, you could do some tea, you could get things moving. Believe it or not, laughing actually really helps when you're backed up. So watching a funny movie or a comedian or something like getting stuff moving. This is something that people, you know, maybe after surgery struggle with is getting backed up and things not coming out. So we can use all the things, the oils and tea. Uh, and I will also say just a quick plug for coffee enemas game changer for digestion. <laughs> just looking at me like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I will say how I got into coffee enemas was when I was in deep with Lyme treatment. 
And my Lyme doctor said, you should start coffee enemas. They're inexpensive and they work really well. And it took me a month to build up the courage to even try it. I was like, oh my gosh. But I was like, okay, I'll do anything to get better. <laughs> so, yeah, I did a video. So if you, if you look on YouTube, if you just YouTube my name, Dr. Laura Ritchie, coffee enema, the, I did a video tutorial of how to do it and it'll come up. And now they become one of my favorite acts of self-care. I do them on the weekends. I'll usually do at least one or two a week and it makes a huge difference. Skin. Um, think the, I've got a video for you, Linda. I got a video. I'll walk you through it all. You, you heat it. So you boil water. So you basically boil a bunch of water. You take three big heaping spoonfuls of, you want an organic coffee, maybe a medium roast ground. You boil that for 15 minutes and then you have a strainer, you pour it out and you let it cool for 30 minutes. And then you can get them at Walgreens. It's a, I don't, I'll show it to you. It's in our bathroom. I'll pull it out in the, in, in the drawer. You want to grab it? It's in like the, the drawer. There's a box. There's a box and all the things, but coffee enemas for, they help the body naturally produce glutathione. They actually help with the vagus nerve. So the nerve that goes brain to gut, you may have heard of vagus nerve, Google it, vagus nerve, vagal nerve. It affects digestion. Now we can stimulate the vagus nerve by singing the gag reflex, believe it or not. So this sounds gross, but take your toothbrush and kind of push it back a little bit till you gag that will stimulate it. Uh, coffee enemas will stimulate it. Uh, so if you're in the bathroom, the slide out drawer here, the, the one, the middle one, maybe you'll see like a Walgreens box and you'll see the little stuff. He's so good. He's digging around the bathroom for my coffee. Enemas stuff. <laughs> but what's funny, people come up to me at convention and go, Dr. Mary, I do the coffee enemas like you do. It's so fun. Okay. This is the thing at Walgreens. Now you can get fancier ones at online they'll have like stainless steel buckets and all this kind of stuff this is what my doctor recommended it's easy I think this is $20 so it's got the little it's a hot water bottle but you put the I put the coffee in there and then it's got the tubing and then it has the applicator system so it says enema so you can do that Mm -hmm. Coffee enemas affect the vagus nerve because you hold it in and when you're holding it, you'll get the urge to go to the bathroom. When you hold it, that's what kind of helps with that. Oh yeah. Okay. So like we got our hot water bottle pack then we got our tubing. Oh, we have two, um, but you just need one of these and there's like the, you, there's a, there's a thing and you put it here and there's like the little applicator. It's all in the video too. Um, but what's nice is you control it. There's a little flip switch and you can control it. But I know, not for the faint of heart, but you may, and it's going to take you a couple times to kind of get in the groove of it. But you said it helps skin, too. Helps skin. I felt like it turned on my brain. Wow. I could think better. I could think clearer. Caffeinated. Thank you. Caffeinated. <laughs> Caffeinated. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun tonight see we're talking about poop and all the things okay instagram i'm gonna lose you because we can only stay on for an hour so thank you for being here but yeah so that's that's coffee enemas try it google it there are tons of amazing resources tons of amazing benefits for doing coffee enemas something to try just throwing it out there with all of the digestive things, but we all need to be pooping. I, I should talk about that earlier, but we should be pooping. We should be like cats and dogs and babies where things come up and we, they go in and then they go out. So ideally two to three well-formed bowel movements a day, like a medium brown. They should be snake-like. They should be long. It shouldn't hurt. That's what we're going for. So if you're having little pellets or more of diarrhea, we've got issues that we need to work on and and we talked about a lot of things in this class too. But oh, I was going to share two really quick. Frankincense is free this month. 200 PV order. That's huge. doTERRA only does this once a year, which is awesome. So get your free Frank. And then clove is the free order, free oil of the month. And that's just through the 15th, 12th, 
13, 14, 15. So we've got three more days on this to get your clove. So if you do a 200 PV loyalty order, you're going to get Frank and clove and the diffuser ornaments, little wooden diffuser. I forgot to bring them out, but they're in the tree in my office. I can show you all that, but yep. So that's that. All right. Questions. This is a lot, but it was good. So the YouTube video, is it flat on the box that it's burned? The YouTube video that a copy in there, mm -hmm. is it where you find that? You need to follow her on YouTube. She has stuff. Yeah, subscribe on, YouTube. subscribe on YouTube. But then once you subscribe there, you can say Dr. Laura Coffee Enema and it'll pull that mm -hmm. one. So you can, I wonder if you could Google that. Let me try. I've never done it. Uh, well, you go to YouTube.com and just search it there. Yeah, it maybe there. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Hey, when I put it in Google, it's the first thing that comes up. Cool. <laughs> there you go. So it's there. That's a good thing to be aware of, right? Um, so that's really good. But you can also just put it into YouTube. It's like seven minutes and 30 seconds. If you take like we, the digest in with the, um, what's the one for the allergies? The trains. Trains. Mm -hmm. If you do that all the time, does it, in, does it lessen how the digest in works? Or should you, like this time of year, we don't have to take it, but if you're taking it mostly in the spring and the summer, does it change how the digest in works if you need to take it? Or, um, I wouldn't think so, but then the book of Dr. Scott's that I was reading did say that sometimes it's good to rotate your oils. Okay. So you that. could, and sometimes that's good. I, I think that's a good thing. We rotate our food. We don't want to be eating, you know, the same thing all the time. So that's kind of a good thing too. And there's so many digestive oils too. You could do other things like the cardamom or ginger or that Arbor Vitae topically. I thought that was a cool a cool life hack. So there's other ones. And even just having like maybe rotating between digestion and tamer. Okay. That might, okay. that might be a good one too, to kind of have on hand. Let's okay. see if anybody on zoom has questions. Okay. They're typing in the chat too. Yeah. You can take a probiotic twice a day. If you need extra support, you definitely can. The PB assist probiotics, one in higher dosage than the other. I usually rotate my probiotics. You can do other probiotics too. There are some that have even more strains. I believe PB assist has 6 billion CFUs. Now, when I went to Kenya, I did do a different probiotic. It was something trillion. It was something that my functional medicine doctor recommended just because I was going to Africa to really bump it up so you can rotate your probiotics and I like to do that too I like to rotate between the two but Mark Mark loves this one so he does that one so Jane right mm -hmm. yeah he takes it before bed he said okay take probiotics twice a day if I need extra support absolutely Jamie yes I take the PB assist junior most of the time yes and I would say too if you had a tummy ache you could take one of these as well for tummy ache or sometimes I'll take two if I have an upset tummy and then I'll help to calm it down. With coffee for the coffee enema, I just look for an organic coffee. So sometimes even the Trader Joe's organic coffee, I'll just get a medium roast organic, and that one works good. But these are good questions. She missed our no vanilla latte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they missed our discussion about, yeah, flavored, don't, don't, do, don't do flavored coffee enemas. Oh, dear. You're going to give me trouble, Mark Ritchie. I'm going to get some YouTube comment about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so fun. Okay, let us know if you have any other questions. What about y'all? Questions? We talked about all the things. Whoa. Whoa. Can y'all hear Linda? So she said. She takes tri ease and digests then soft gel every single day, and she has not had oh, no seasonal threats, environmental threats, no runny nose, nothing. When she stops taking it, her nose is running. So 
Mm, that's fascinating. And see, that's so interesting too, because we usually think tries, right? If we're getting all, uh, but you can also take digestion. So I love that you intuitively have taken both because that mucosal layer all the way up and that gut connection with that too. Or if there's a gut issue going on that's contributing to some of the allergy stuff, that can be a, mm -hmm, it's linked. So that's, I love that you're doing both. Oh, Jamie is glad that you shared that. She says she's going to try that. Isn't it interesting? And I'll tell people to take the digest then touch roller and roll it on the sinuses and down the nose. So we can use it both ways. You can take it internally and then for sinus pressure, head tension, you can also use the digest then and that works really well. Yes, so she takes one digest then and one tri -ease every day and that has worked really well. And if I have something that I'm very diligent about not eating gluten, if I ever have something that I think, hmm, maybe that wasn't really good, but they said it was, mm -hmm. then I'll take those um, digestion pads that says my liverish. I'll rub oil on my stomach, mm. on the bottoms of my feet for digestion, take those, and then and then I have the ginger drops as well. The ginger drops. Mm, isn't it amazing? Okay, so I got to share that, Linda. That's huge. So Linda said, if, if you eat something that you're not supposed to or you have an accidental exposure, you start to have stomach issues, that you do the digest tabs, two of those. You do the oil all around your stomach, bottoms of the feet, and then you do a ginger drop. And within 10, 20 minutes, within 20 minutes, I'm totally back to normal. Within 20 minutes, she's completely back to normal. Yeah. Yeah, you're celiac like I am. Yeah. Yeah. All of those things are good. Oh, Jamie says, yeah, she says she does the same thing, that she keeps all those in her purse too at all times. It makes a difference. Keep your oils with you. They're not doing you any good. <laughs> <laughs> They're in here wherever. I travel with them. The the rollers are so easy. Or get the little keychains from doTERRA. They're $6.50 and you can put your oils in there. Oh, I love that everybody's pulling out their oils in the living room. <laughs> so fun. Okay, well, I will, we went a little over, so I'll cut this short. Thanks for watching virtually. And we will upload this. This will be in our Oswald group. I'll put it in the Learning with Dr. Laura Facebook group and we'll put it up on YouTube. And yeah, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>